it's not something that just you just do. I mean, it's hard. And I gotta tell you, lyrically, I've got nothing. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't write anything. But while I'm here, will you take pictures for me for the cover? No. Please. I pawned my equipment to make rent. What? Why? To make rent. So just like that, you're done. Just like that. What was that? Just a friend. divine intervention, none of us could see very far ahead. The future is always unknown, and no one could have foreseen the kind of summons that brings us to this moment, to this day. Will you join me in prayer? Eternal God, we have shared with us this gift of life. Before he was ours, he was yours. For all that he has given to us to make us what we are, for his life that you in your love will never end, we give you thanks. Draw those of us who remain in this life closer to one another and make us faithful to serve one another and give us to know that peace and joy which is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, in whom we pray. Amen. freaked out back there. Who the fuck are all of those people, you know? I mean, I don't know them. How did they know Dad? You know, I was hoping it would rain today. Like in the movies, you know, it's always raining. Bright, sunny funeral just doesn't seem right. I'm just sad enough without the rain. told me this park is named after Mrs. Hughes because her husband buried her body here somewhere. He was a gardener. 
and he hated her. He hated his wife. And he felt like, wow, oh, she was so worthless in life. You know, he knew what he was doing. Just grind her up, use her as compost, and use her decomposing body to help something grow. There's rumors about where the body's buried, but Dad always said he was buried under that tree. He told me the same story. But then I was too scared to come here. He always did crap like that. You hear it now? I'm not swinging. Come on. It'll be fine. We're doing it wrong. He wouldn't want this. Okay, your favorite funny memory about Dad. Go. When he, uh, when he tried to get the beehive out of our tree all by himself. Yeah, I remember with the with the spray poison. I told him to call somebody. Seeing him running and just looking out the window and seeing those little legs. I don't think I've ever seen him move that fast. <laughs> and, and that look on his face, that oh shit look. <laughs> it didn't even get rid of the bees. <laughs> well, there's that time, Lenny, when he uh, drew us a treasure map. He did that a lot. No, well, I know, but uh, I think we were like eight. And you were off visiting grandma. We were just bugging the hell out of him all day. So I drew us a map really quick, rather than planning it out like he normally did. And we dug up the flowers. My flowers? Okay, when he saw what we had done, his face went completely white. You know, we thought we were in trouble, but he didn't yell or anything. He knew it was his fault. So, there he was, frantically replanting everything. The entire time, he kept saying, Oh God, she's gonna kill me. Oh God, I'm a... I'm a dead man. He did a good job. I never even noticed the flowers. Fucking bomber. <laughs>